this video we will be studying about the presentation of data. So there are two, two methods to present your data. That is your textual presentation or your tabular presentation. In this video we will be studying about the tabular or oh sorry textual presentation. Now what is textual presentation? When you express your data in a subject manner or in the descriptive form which means in the English in the language so data are a part of the text or study or a part of the description of the subject matter of study such a presentation is called descript descriptive presentation of data or it is also known as the textual presentation Let's suppose for example we have in a strike call given by the trade unions of shoe making industry in the city of Delhi 50% of the workers reported for the duty and only 2 out of the 20 industries in the city were totally closed. So this is the information they have given you in the example. In a strike call given by trade union of shoe making industry fifty percent of the workers reported for the duty and only Two out of the twenty industries in the city were totally closed. See, this is the data given to you, but in what form they have presented you the data in the form of text, in the form of words. So when you present your data in the descriptive manner or in the subject matter then it is known as the textual presentation of data. The other example we can see uh, say is surveys conducted by a non-government organization reveal that in the state of Punjab area under pulses has tended to shrink by 40% while the area under rice and wheat has tended to expand by 20 percent between the year 1991 and 2001. So again in this example they have given you the data in the descriptive form or in the textual form. So this is known as the textual presentation of data. Now the suitability of textual presentation when you should use the textual presentation See, it is more suitable when the quantum of data is not very large. Let's suppose if we take the example by saying that the price of gold is skyrocketing. So this statement doesn't give you the data. But this statement tells you that the price of the gold have increased. But if we say the other statement like price of gold has risen by 50% during the financial year 2015-16 is much more meaningful and precise. So whenever there are few information that is to be delivered and it includes, includes few observations then you should uh, write, uh, present the data in the textual form. The drawbacks of textual presentation of data. See, whenever there is a huge text 
so you have to read all the facts in order to understand what the uh, small quantitative uh, facts we have like 50%, 20%, 10% in that textual form presentation so you have to read whole the content and then only you will understand by not giving a glance at the subject matter but you have to read all the subject matter and you have to understand accordingly so if there is large text then it is difficult to read whole text and time consuming as well so these are the drawbacks of your textual presentation i hope you like our video please download scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us